And Father, I thank you. And I'm just going to pray. Thank you, Lord, that you open hearts this morning. People's hearts to hear what I have to say as an Esther. That I'm calling the nation to accountability, to oneness, to go to the voting polls, to put their signature down. Father, I ask you that you will heal everybody's heart from any pain and ache that they've had in the past. The way that our government has treated them and the way that government has been as a representative for us in Parliament. Father, but now you're asking for righteousness to prevail in our in our Parliament. And I ask you, Father, for right standing with you so that we can go and change what has been written in our Constitution, to rewrite history, to bring it back in order for you, for your kingdom to reign here on earth. I thank you, Father, that you're with us. And I thank you that every person listening to me will hear what you have to say in your mighty name. Thank you, Father. I want to ask every person, just going to give you a little bit of statistics. If we're 8,000, plus minus, white and colored, and 1.5 million, that's what statistics say, of Indian, and the rest are black, then I want to ask you, when you vote, will you vote for biblical principles and values? There's two political parties that I'm aware of, the ACDP, only has three chairs, and isn't that scary? It's actually frightening. God will give us a leader, what our heart chooses. Let us show him that we want a leader that he is in control of, that not only our heads are going, but our hearts are going, that it goes for biblical value, values and principles. I can't speak it more than I can. There's four that the, e, the, the FF Freedom Front have got, also biblical values and principles. And none of them, no Christian party is perfect. Please remember that. But they stand for what we stand, the God of the Bible. We are selling our souls out to communism, socialism, Marxism. If you're not educated, go and read up about it. It's not dead, it's thriving because we're allowing it. Guys that fought on the borders, you fought against communism came in, coming into a country. So it has arrived. And if we submit any more, you won't have a legacy for your children. I speak to you right now about your legacy. I don't know what your legacy is, but I want to leave a legacy. I don't want to leave South Africa because of fear. I want to leave a legacy for my children and my children's children. To say to them, their mom stood up. Their mom did something, and their mom was a light to South Africans, to bring them hope. My name is Esther Bardenhorst. I'm in Limpopo. I go wherever God sends me. But now I ask you, will you stand with me? I'm a prayer walker. I love praying. Will you stand with me? And just, I'm going to stand still for a second. Will you stand with me? Will you say, Esther, I'd like to be part of this. I'd like to... Put my signature down. We need 500 signatures to create a political party. Yes, even if there's so many already created. I know the God of the Bible. He works with the impossible. And I won't give up until I see what he's promised for our land. 500 signatures. All you have to do is say, yes, Esther, I want to put my signature down to say that we will stand together for our nation. And then get the signatures. I will send you the documents and you sign it and you send it back to me. This has to happen very quickly. And then at the same time, don't get negative. Don't think how it's going to happen. God has miraculous ways of doing things. Then for every person that has a financial gap, that you really have the finances, I'm asking you, will you stand in? And will you support this movement? We need 200,000 for national. We need 45,000 for each province. If we take one province, that means 45,000. If we take all nine provinces plus national, it is then um, 600,000. So if we only take national and one province, it means 245,000. We have to take national because we have to change the mindset in Parliament. And we have to bring Jesus Christ back into our schools, back into our homes, back into the hospitals. It's endless. You know what's going on. You know, I don't have to tell you what's going on. You know exactly what's going on. If you don't, you need to get educated and see what's going on. My voice is to call to you. And I'm really doing a test trial to see, are we really that many Christians that really believe like Esther in the Bible? She called 
for everybody to fast and pray, and they did. And she went to the king, and he heard her. And things changed because the king came against Haman. Can we come against Haman, those that are coming against God's children? Because it's just history repeating itself. Esther, she came against Haman because he wanted to kill her people. Who's our people? The Christians in this nation. The Judea Christians, the Jews and the Christians in this nation believe in the God of the Bible. I believe in Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and I believe in Yahweh, the King of Kings. And we all need to stand together. I'm calling you to accountability. No more apathy, no more procrastination, no more fear. It is time to go into faith, and we need to let hope arise in order to faith to work. I thank the Lord that he is our anchor. He's our only hope for South Africa. He's the only name above all names that will work. Will you believe in me? Will you push me forward? Will you see me get to my position so I can help heal this nation? I thank you. I thank you. This is not for self-gain. And if you think it is, have a look how far I walked. If I did 2,000 kilometers north, from north to south, and 750 k's from east to west, then I think you know my heart already. I pre-walked for you to ask you for the specific day that is happening today. Will you stand with me, Esther? Esther Bardnos, will you stand with me to save this nation? I need all men to stand up as Baraks. I need all the Boras, women, to stand up. And all the youth that are 18 years and older, please hear my voice. I need your signature. You will sign a document of 500 signatures. Uh, I need 500 signatures. If I get millions, I'm quite happy with that. But it needs to get to the IEC now. Before the end of January, I'd like to submit it. And I know that's a quick response, but that's the quick response that God is expecting. And then the date of elections for voting, you will then look out for hope, prayer, and action. And I pray that it's going to be in your region. If it isn't, it's because nobody supported us in that area. Will you support me to get this thing moving? Let us do it. Let us start this year. And let us not say it's impossible. I just want to speak in Afrikaans because that's one of my languages. Um, ek wil met die boere mense praat, my van is badenoos, ek wil met die boere manne praat. Ons gaan nie enige toekomst vir ons kinders hee, as ons nie nou opstaan nie, sal jy saam met my staan. Ek vraag vir elke vrou, boere vrou, asjeblief, staan met my. Elke persoon wat Afrikaans praat, staan met my, dit is tyd, man, vrou, kinders, 18 jaar en ouwe, ons kan nie doen, ons moet nie doen, ons kan nie ons land verloor nie. Ek sê vir jou, baie, baie dankie, dit is my hart vir jou, kyk wat ek gedoen het, en dit is nie net praat nie, God het my laat studeer, ek het political science gestudeer, en dit is wat die Heere vir my geroep het om te doen, so my voet het gewerk en my kop, so ek vraag, staan met my, I just released to the Afrikaans speaking people, and to the, and to the Boers, that um, God is with us in our nation, He has not left us, He has not forsaken us, and that's applicable for you as well, I don't have a color race problem, I have a Jesus problem in this country. Where are we putting him? That's all I'm asking you. Where are we putting him? Are we embarrassed because of his name? What is really taking place? Okay, so I'm testing the waters to see how many of you will stand with me. You send me a yes. I send you the documents. You send me your email. You sign it. You send it back. I send it into the IEC. We pay the deposit. If it's 600000 or two. 145,000, uh, 45,000, whatever you guys feel God is going to do, I'm with it. I, I'm not alone. Esther wasn't alone. She had the people with her. She didn't go to the king without the people. I'm waiting for you. Let us do this. I don't mind. I'll stand in the forerunner, for, forefront, and I'll speak on your behalf. But now we need to do it, and time is limited. So that is the procedure. We pay the deposit. We contest national, and we go for as many seats as possible. Remember, 40. Um, between 50 and 70,000 per seat. So let us take, how many seats do you want to take for Jesus? I want to take as many as possible. If we've only got seven at the moment, that leaves us how many? 33. Let's take 33 se three seats for Jesus. Come on, we can do that. Can we? We're a Christian nation. I'm testing the waters. God bless you, love you. Take care. Don't hold this message for yourself. Pass it on to others and let's get it viral. Let's see who really is a Christian.